what it be, y'all. This is Wrestle 47 representing Flow Record Podcast. It's been about three months since I did my last solo video. And uh, I wanted to just say thank you for the reception I got on that one. Uh, today is December 9th. The day this will be premiering is December 9th. And it is Cat Bjorn's birthday. My favorite singer of all time from Babes of Tony and Kikashi Wife Crunt. This, so I decided. Um, you know, I might as well do a discography ranking of all the albums because I have all of them on hard copy. Besides, like, Pagan Babies and all that shit because we're like, those, you're not finding those anymore. Those were like 85. So, let's just get into it. Let's go to my least favorite album. She was a part of my least favorite Cat Beyond album is Crunt from 1994. Uh, this band was like, Cat Beyond, uh, Stu Spasm, and let me see it. Stuart Gray, Russell Simmons, Cat Beyond. So yeah, two members of Lubricated Goat, and then Cat Beyond. Yeah. So Cat plays bass, Stu is guitar and vocalist, and then Russell is on drums. Uh, there, um, there is only like <coughs> one song on this album I like, and that's Unglued. Which is the which is the song Cat sings on? It's the only track she sings on. Fucking so fire! I love that song. But everything after everything outside of that is fucking terrible in my opinion. Like, I don't like Stu's voice. Um, uh, it's just fucking ear grating. But like, um, he does have some pretty cool riffs on the songs I don't like. Uh, just can't get into this song. I only have it just complete her discography. So this is Crunt. 1994. Okay, then after that, we're gonna go to the year prior, 1993, and we're gonna go with Babes and Twilight Painkillers. This was a Lollapalooza EP they did, um, like after Fontenelle. So you got like some brand new tracks, a redo of an old song, and then like a live concert at the end, which uh, the redone track was He's My Thing from Spanking Machine. And then the concert track was Fun to Let. And then the other four tracks in between are brand new recorded songs. Um, I'm kind of like 50 50 on this record. There's some stuff on here I do like. There's some stuff in here I don't like. I feel like this EP was pretty rushed. I feel like if they took more time with it, it would have been a lot better. But uh, I do like the re recorded He's My Thing. I think my favorite out of the main four tracks, my favorite is, to be a, is a Stick Kite. Uh, Cat Beyond does like this like stream of consciousness spoken word delivery on that shit and it sounds really cool um angel hair is also a pretty good track that was also um the song sometimes on their uh bbc sessions cd and then fall in la is their uh, show from cbgb's from like i think 92 the, that's a really dope song uh yeah it could have been better but it's not the worst thing that um cat has been a part of uh but yeah, Painkillers by Babes in Toilet, 1993. Then we're going to go to 2001. I reviewed this album for its 20th anniversary <coughs> as Cat Tashby Wife Amusia. Uh, this album had a grow on me. I like more songs in here now than when I first listened to the album. Um, this is a promo copy. I don't have the actual... Retail copy, otherwise I would show that. Um, like, this album right here is fucking expensive. I got this for like 40 bucks. And this is a promo copy I never knew existed. But, uh, there's some pretty good songs on here. Like, some of the best songs Cap Bale has ever done are on this album. Like, Gone Away, Boomerang Doll, Get Go, which is my favorite song on the album. And by the way, my favorite song on Painkillers is... The Fauna Let track, and then my favorite on Crunt is on Blue. So, um, yeah, my favorite song on Get Go, you also got like Rose Rosatia, which is one of Beyond's best performances, in my opinion. Uh, Night Knife Fight, pretty dark. Wittershin. Wittershin sounds like something that would have been recorded for Nemesis Sisters. It sounds really cool. Um, yeah, really pretty solid album. I do like it. I like it more than when I used to. So yeah, 2001, Catastrophe, Wife, and Musia. I need to make my, myself a fucking uh, jewel case copy on Kanaki already. So then we're going to go to after, 
2004, their follow-up album, and my favorite Cat Tastic Wife album, All Kneel. Uh, this is the 20, 2014 10th anniversary reissue that did on Cat's label, Do Yourself In. Uh, oh, it's open. The disc right there. And then you got a bonus disc. If I can fucking get it. Bonus disc called For Your Patience, which is like remixes, demos, outtakes, that kind of shit. And then uh, on streaming services, this and layout is actually the cover for the For Your Patience disc. <coughs> um, yeah, this album is really dope. Um, starts off with Liberty Bell, great song. Money Shot, my favorite track, Sweetheart. That shit is hard. I love the riff for that. Um, what do you also got? Admit Time. I think I like that song. Baby Doll. Baby Doll is really fucking good. That song is real catchy. Uh, Lane to Rest. Lane to Rest is one of the best songs Cat Feelings ever done, in my opinion. Paying tribute to the late, great Lane Staley of Alice in Chains. Um, and then the bonus, and then the last track, Suffrage. Really dope song. Um, it's kind of like a hook and then an instrumental, but it's so hard. You can definitely tell Cat Feelings was using the Big Muff pedal on that song. And I'm, honestly, the bonus track I've never really listened to, uh, just kind of don't give a fuck. It's just like a bunch of remixes, mostly. But my, the main album is my favorite Catastrophe White record. All Neil, 2004. Great shit right there. And then everything else after this is all babes in Toyland. So, ch -ch -ch. go to the next one. From 1991, I did a 30th anniversary review for this. All these albums except the current record I did reviews on. 1991, To Mother. Um, this is the album they put out after Spanking Machine. They were in Europe campaigning this record the whole time. I love that disc right there, just black and red. Then, uh, you got, then you got pictures of all the members of the baby, like you got um, Cat right there, with Lori, Michelle, Leon. Classic, my opinion, Catatonic, Mad Pilot, Mad Pilot's hard as fuck. Primus, one of my favorite Lori Barbera vocal tracks. Left My Head Off, Spit to See the Shine, Ripe. Ripe is my favorite song on the album. That is one of my favorite BIT songs. And then you get The Quiet Room, which they would uh, later redo, re-scratch for Fonnell. So, Molly can play with this album is the mixing. It sounds flat as fuck, like, um... This and Spanking Machine definitely need to be remastered. Um, other than that, this is a really good album. The music itself is dope as fuck. Uh, Babes in Toilet 2 Mother, 1991. R.I.P. Uh, I forgot what her name was, but on the cover is Cap Yellen's mother from when she was like six years old. So yeah, right there. It was a, basically like a tribute record. And then the main albums. Coming down to number three. Nemesis Sisters, 1995. Uh, underrated album, in my opinion. I don't really hear this talked about as much as, like, Fontanelle is. But this got some serious face melters on it. Like, uh, this disc right there. It got, like, a real 60s freak show kind of artwork to this. Um, Hello, one of the best Babes and Twins songs, in my opinion. Oh, yeah. Sweet 69 is my favorite song on this album. That was the song that reintroduced me to this band and made me fall in love with them completely. Uh, 22, Ariel, Killer on the Road, the only song Maureen Herbert ever did vocals for on a, on a BIT album. She kills it. Memory, SFW, So Fucking What, that was a title track for a, like a soundtrack for the same name. Uh, when Babes, Babes and Toilet appear in that movie as well. And then the last three tracks, All By Myself, Deep Song, We Are Family, are... Just cover songs, which I don't really care for. But the main 11 tracks are fucking dope. Um, definitely a classic album, in my opinion. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. I wish they did an album after this, though. Because they had like they had a few songs after this, which are dope as fuck. But uh, Nemesis from 1995. Love this album. And then... This album is probably my top 25 records of all fucking time. Um, oh my god. Spanking Machine. From 1990. You 
got Michelle Leon right there, Lori Barbero, and Cat Bialin. I love that album cover. I believe, uh, what's his name? I'm trying to look for it. Daniel Corrigan. He did that. He did that album cover. He shot that shit. So, so shouts to him. This guy right there got the lyrics for Lashes, which was an also a poem called Best Sunday Dress that Cat made. And then right there, just got a painting. Um, <clears throat> no bad song in this album. Swamp Pussy, He's My Thing, Vomit Heart, Never, Boulder Rap, Lashes. My favorite song on this album, and in my opinion, the most underrated BIT song of all time. You're right. Michelle Leon shines on that song. Love the bass line. Everybody is at 100% on that song. And then you got Dust Cape Boy. That song's hard. And then Fork Down Throat, an amazing closer. Um, this this just like real dirty garage um, sounding shit. Uh, this is also produced by Jack and Dino. And recorded at Reciprocal Recording. The same producer and studio responsible for Bleach. So it kind of has that same kind of sound to it. Um... I fucking love this album, like I said. This is my favorite album of 1990. And so was, uh, what was his name? John Peel, which is uh, the host of the BBC Radio Peel Sessions and all that. This was his favorite album of 1990. And so it's also mine. Um, if you could find this for a good price, definitely pick this up. Because this is going for a lot of money nowadays. I'm seeing it for like 40 bucks on eBay. I got this for like 12 So yeah, Spank and Machine by Babes and Toyin. 1990, and that leaves us with one more, the fucking usual suspect, everybody's favorite Babes and Twilight album, my favorite thing Cal Bale's ever done in her career, and this is in my top 15 albums of all time, 1992, Fontenelle, uh, what needs to be said about this album, a fucking masterpiece, uh, it's probably my top three grunge albums of all time. Right there, you got the disc. I love that, like, silhouette picture. And then, uh, you got the Vomit Heart with the Saturn rings. Um, Bruce Violet, the opening track, my favorite Babes and Toilet song. Right now, Bluebell, Handsome and Gretel, raunchy and grimy shit. Blood, Magic Flute, probably my favorite song Lori has done vocals on. Won't Tell, um, they really did a quiet room for this, for this one. Spun, short song. That song is really underrated. It's like forty-five seconds, and it's just instrumental, but it's so fucking hard. Uh, Jungle Train, Pearl, Realize, Mother, Mother is like another underrated song of theirs, and probably their darkest. I love that song, and then it closes off with Gone, which is like a real creepy outro. Cat Beyond screaming and smashing bottles. This is every member of the band at their best, especially Cat. Her riffs, her guitarist just sounds so harsh and abrasive. She, shriek, she shrieks like a fucking banshee on these songs. Her vocal control is fucking perfect. Um, Marine, bass lines sound real dark. Lori's drums are just fucking abusive. Um, I think this is an album everybody should hear before they die. That's how much I love this album. This album's got me through a lot of shit. Um... One of the darkest sounding albums you'll ever find, as far as like rock and metal, in my opinion. Um, just n not much else needs to be said about this. Babes and Twilight Fontanelle, 1992. For 2022, I don't know, it's not official, it's just an idea, but I want to do a 30th anniversary celebration for this record, because it's just that fucking good. And those are all of Cap Bialan's albums, ranked least to greatest. Um, Resident 47. Be sure to tune in tomorrow night for Full Record Podcast. We're going to be reviewing Red Man's Muddy Waters for its 25th anniversary. Can't wait for that. So um, until then, I'll see y'all later. Peace.